In Godot, input mapping allows you to group inputs into an action. For example, we can group the space key with the up arrow key into a single action called jump. If any of these inputs is pressed, then the action gets triggered. Input mapping is the preferred way to check for input every frame or in a place like the process function. To define an input map, first access the input map settings. To do so, go to project, then project settings, then input map. Then add a new action by assigning it a unique name. For example, here we added the jump action. Finally, we need to add the inputs that will trigger the action. So I'm going to add the space and up arrow keys. And just like that, we have defined the jump action. Now we can check if the action is triggered in some way through the input instance. For example, we can check if the jump action is pressed by using the input is action pressed function. This will return true if either the space key or the up arrow key is pressed. We can also use the input is action just pressed function. This will return true the moment we start pressing space or the up arrow key. After that, it returns false, even if you keep pressing. We have to release the button and press it again to get true from the function. That's all for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching.